Hey there guys, and welcome to this new tutorial series on Premiere Pro CC 2014. So in this series, I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, Premiere Pro, and I'm going to sort of slow it down a little bit compared to some other series. Uh, this is more for beginners, uh, like proper beginners that don't have a clue what they're doing. Uh, so hopefully, if you're that kind of person, you don't really know what you're doing, and you want some additional help, then this series should be for you. I'm also going to be creating a couple of episodes that are for IT sort of pros, if you will. Maybe not quite pros, but um, if you know a bit more about IT and you're a bit more comfortable with that, then I'll be linking some of those videos shortly. So for the purposes of today's tutorial, I'm going to be editing some Minecraft footage I have, and I'm going to be showing you how I do that and what sort of techniques I use. Uh, now the first step to creating a Premiere Pro project uh, is just to hit the new project button. Now project is where all your sort of video files, uh, your your actual edits, it, it's all stored in here. Everything to do with the video you're creating is stored in a project. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new one of those for our uh, video. So uh, the name, you can call this anything you like, uh, I'm going to call it Hero Binds Mansion. So this is going to be the name for your Premiere profile that you're going to be creating. So you can imagine this kind of a bit like a Word document, um, except it's not Word, it's Premiere Pro. But the actual document that gets created in Word when you save something, you could kind of imagine it a bit like that. And this is where it's going to save the Premiere Pro document. So uh, I've already set up a f location I want to put it in. Uh, it's in here, so I'm going to save it in Herobine's Mansion right here. And once you've got your name set up and your location that you want your sort of Premiere Pro document to be set up, uh, we're not going to worry too much about this today. This is a bit more kind of advanced stuff. This is just um, I'm just going to sort of skim over this. I might come back to that in a later tutorial. Uh, because we are proper beginners, we're not going to go into too much depth about that. We're going to make this as automated as possible. So just give it a second to load in the sequence. There we go. So I'm just going to first of all give you a quick preview of what all these different panels are doing. I know I know it probably looks a bit intimidating at the moment, but I assure you, you'll be perfectly comfortable with it all by the end of these tutorials. So. The first thing we're going to look at, which is kind of like the main panel in my opinion, is the timeline panel. So here you will edit all of your videos, you'll put your cuts in, you'll put your music in, you'll put your sound effects in, you put your special effects in, etc, etc. So this is kind of like where all the actual editing happens. Now if we move up one panel, this is your timeline preview panel. So this is this is the timeline here which is where all your edit happens and this is the panel that you actually preview what's going on over here we have our source panel and it's got a couple of extra things in here uh, so first of all the sources oh, I haven't quite installed it all properly yet so I'll come back to that soon uh, so this is your source panel this has uh, your previews for your footage that you're going to import into Premiere Pro. So say if you want to just preview it before you put it into your timeline just to make sure it's the right thing you can view it in this little window here. Effects controls, so this is where you can fade in and out your music, you can make your footage black and white, you can do your uh, colour correction if you don't know what it is, I'll go over that soon. Uh, so this is where you add all your effects in and where you configure them all. The audio clip mixer uh, you can sort of control the uh, how loud or quiet your audio is in here on each different audio track. Again, we'll get into that later. Don't worry if you don't understand it in a certain moment. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand it when um, I go through it later. And over here is metadata. Um, unless you're doing some sort of more professional video editing, you, you don't really need to worry about this. Uh, it's it's something that's a bit more advanced but we're not going to go into it in these tutorials okay so the final panel we're looking at is the project panel so you can imagine this little panel here as kind of like an area where all of your media that you're going to be using in your video is stored now uh, you can have your sort of say if you're taking a, some footage on your camera you put that in here you 
put your background music in here, you put your special effects in here, well, if, if you want to add them. Um, next one along here we have our media browser, so you can go through your computer and find all your media you want to import into your project. So again that can be like your footage, your music, your whatever, yeah. Uh, you can get some more info on the items you've selected uh, in your project panel over there. Um, so like how long it is, uh, what the frame rate is, etc, etc. I won't be going into too much detail about that because it's not really that useful in my opinion for what, I'm, for what I do. Uh, the effects panel, so this, this panel is where you can add some sort of video transitions, your special effects, so like black and white for example, or different colour effects, that kind of thing, that's where all that happens. Uh, markers, um, we'll get into that later, I won't explain what that is now. And your history, so you can, uh, this is quite a nice feature, so you can check what changes you made to your video and you can undo them from this panel. So that was just a quick overview of what all the panels do in Premiere Pro. Um, this is it's not really a panel list, just go through these. These are all the tools that you're going to be using, um, but again we'll get into those later. Okay, so I'm going to begin by bringing in my footage. So I've got a File Explorer window open up here which has got my footage in it. Now you just need to locate where you put your footage uh, off your camera or off your video recorder and you just need to select it and drag and drop it into where it says import media to start so we've just dragged and dropped it into the sort of footage media area which is where we keep all of our tracks such as um, our footage, our music, our special effects etc etc so to start editing our video we first need to create a new sequence a sequence is kind of like a place to edit your video. Now you can have multiple sequences which you can put inside of each other, but that's a bit more advanced for this tutorial. I'll show you how to do that in future tutorials. So today we're just going to start off by um, showing you how to do some basic editing. So to do that we're just going to take our video and drag and drop it into where it says drop media here to create a sequence. So we're just going to put it in there. Now you'll notice that uh, our footage has appeared in the sort of preview uh, box up here, and we have a series of sort of boxes here. Uh, I know it might look a bit confusing, but I'm just about to explain what that is. So we have different video and audio tracks. Uh, so video track one is commonly where the main video is. So for example. Uh, my Minecraft footage is on video track 1 and it's easily editable here. Now you'd want to use the other video tracks for example if you wanted to put a recording of your webcam there and you can put a picture of yourself there. And you can also uh, use the other audio tracks for things like background music or sound effects. So they're quite useful to use during your videos but uh, like I said, we're just going to use the basic stuff today and we're not going to uh, worry too much about the video tracks but I am going to be showing you how to add some background music and sound effects in. So the first thing I'm going to teach you how to do is how to use uh, the cutting tool and sort of trim your video a bit. Now there's two ways we can trim our video down. We can either use the sort of um, arrow here to cut it down or we can use the razor tool. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you how to use the sort of trimming tool and use use the razor tool. So, for the trimming tool, um, say if I wanted to scrub through my video and find out just after when I said um, this is Herobine's mansion. So let's just listen for that. Gone a bit too far. So you can play and pause your video in the preview box up here by pressing the space bar which is what I'm doing now. And you can move the scrubber um, by just clicking on it and dragging it. Okay, so I've just said here is Bind's Mansion. Now let's just say we wanted to uh, cut it here. So I can either 
drag this back when the little cursor appears you have to be at the end of a video or the um, start of a video like I've just done there um, now say if we're in a different scenario where we weren't at the beginning or end of a video and we wanted to take out say this part here so what we need to do is use the razor tool now the razor tool is this one here like I pointed out earlier which means to click on that or you can press C on your keyboard which is the shortcut so um, I'm just going to click at the point where we want to cut it so here and let's say um, I press spacebar and I've watched this and I want to finish cutting out this bit here so I'm going to click here again now it's quite simple to delete this bit we just want to re revert back to our uh, select tool um, so you kind of click on the picture of the cursor or you can press V we want to select our piece of footage that we've cut that we want to delete and we want to hit the delete key or do right click and hit and uh, press delete now you probably notice that some gaps here we don't want those because if we play our video now uh, in the video preview box we see that there's just uh, a black screen now if we want our video to start uh, very start of the video we need to drag it back to the start so let's bring it back to there and if you see now uh, I play my video from the start it now plays from the start now we've also got a gap here as well so we can do the same and then drag that closer to the other clip now if you notice when I drag it so close to the uh, other clip it snaps into place with those sort of little funnel looking things at the top so if we just release now it should snap right into place for it perfectly so if we scrub through we see that it jumps from there to the bit we cut to so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add a transition in so let's just watch this it kind of looks a bit sharp there so what I'm going to do is another transition to soften it up a bit now there's two ways of doing this you can either use the shortcut key on your keyboard which is control D or you can just drag and drop it in manually so for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to drag and drop it in manually so if we head over to the effects tab in this panel over here so if we head over to the effects tab in this panel over here and hit effects we can um, uh, select video transitions and we have a whole list of video transitions you can pick from here now um, personally my favorite is in the dissolve tab I use film dissolve that's my favorite now I'm just going to drag and drop that into in between our two pieces of footage to add in the transition now if we scrub through to just before it starts and hit the play button in the preview window we see there's a much smoother transition there so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add some background music and also I'm going to show you how to uh, add a sound effect so first of all we're going to add some background music so to do that we're going to need a file uh, that we can use for our background music so you can download this off the internet or somewhere you're choosing um, but I have a great place for you to download some background music for your video now this is copyright free if you're using it on YouTube and YouTube is happy for you to use it in your videos uh, I'll post a link to that in the description and you can download music of your choosing from there but I have just taken um, a track from the library and it's called morning walk so what I need to do is I need to drag and drop that into the uh, media area and it should appear there so with this I'm going to drag and drop it onto my video now what I want to do is I want it to start um, at the start here now you'll notice that that's created a new audio track on top of what I've already got now that's because um, these audio tracks are in surround sound format and what I've got is just a uh, normal two speaker stereo now if you don't understand what that means it doesn't really matter but in general yours will appear, or will appear here unless you have surround sound format for your regular video so what I'm going to do is 
I've just dragged it into here and I'm just going to play it now and see what it sounds like. Now in my personal opinion that's really loud for what I'm trying to do and to be quite honest the uh, voices in it aren't that loud either. So I can adjust the audio on each of these clips that I've got. So if I go into audio mixer I can mess around with how much sound is being produced on each clip. So if I play, we can see that the um, music I've just added in is much louder than the audio that we're speaking from. So I know this panel might also look a bit intimidating, but it's really simple to use. So we're just going to turn down our music a little bit. So if you look at what track your music is on, um, for me it's audio track 4, we can see that here it says also audio track 4 and if we take the volume sort of button here we can drag it up and down to make it louder and quieter so I'm going to drag it down to probably about 20 and that should make it quiet enough for it to be able to hear us now if you also notice that uh, we were quite quiet on that video as well so I'm going to turn us up a little bit now unfortunately Premiere Pro isn't equipped to uh, amplify your noise uh, more than six decibels above what it was already um, so you may need to use some external uh, audio editing software to fix that but of course you don't have to worry about that I'll explain that in another video so if we just play our video now we can now hear both our uh, voices and the background audio so that's how you add in um, background music. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to import a sound effect. So if we head over to my uh, folder which is Hero Binds Mansion, I have uh, put in there a dun 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 sound effect. So to use this I'm first going to drag and drop it into the media panel. Now from here I can drag and drop it into my sequence. So say if I wanted the sound effect to appear here, I would just uh, drag and drop it to the start of the bar. So say if I wanted uh, the sound effect to start here, I would just drag and drop it to the start of the uh, scrubber here and again for me it will create a new soundtrack because I have the surround sound on but for you it should appear on the second and third track which is already created for you so if I play through now you'll be able to hear the sound effect so I've also added in the sound effect so that's all for today guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you again next time.